Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And today I'm going to be giving you part 7 of What If Naruto Open the Gate of Alchemy and Awaken All the Abilities. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also guys, remember to stay tuned for the brand new episodes coming over Anime King 2 and Anime King 3. If you're new, yes. You heard that correctly, I have three channels, and making and making two and making three. Which I post what if on every single day for you guys to enjoy. So go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the making family. And thank you for all for your help and support. Links will be down in the description for the other two channels for you guys to enjoy. And yeah, turn on that bell notification to see exactly when I post. And without further ado, what do you say begin this new episode? Start the intro. So, the last spot we left off. The thugs came towards the house to take the bridge builder daughter and use her as a ransom trap to make the bridge builder hand over his life in exchange. But they weren't prepared to see the massive suit of armor there waiting for them. As Tsunami screamed when she saw Alphon enter the house, saying that he saved them as she hit him with a frying pan as she was freaked out that he could talk. Back on the bridge, as Naruto arrived to the scene, he had met Haku earlier, as he knew that it was her underneath that mask. But she refused to give up, so he fought, as Naruto ended up slamming his hand together and leveling that part of the bridge. Something happened as he overused too much explosive. Zabuza was taken down by a shiro to the chest. Meanwhile, with Hana, as she and her Heimer triplets took out all of Gato's men. She was about to bring Gato back to the villagers for them to wreak havoc upon him for all that he's done to them. But before she could, someone blocked her path. She didn't see the person's face as he grabbed Gato and leaped off with him. As the man left no scent behind, no trail. When she got back, she heard about what happened as she was worried. But she knew that Naruto was not dead. He couldn't be dead. When Naruto and Edbo woke up, they were in a strange white plane. That is where they met Gluttony. Gluttony told them that Alchemy has returned for a reason. And also, if Orochimaru gained the full access of Alchemy, he would make what they did in their own world look like a joke. He would be able to subjugate this entire world by himself. So they had to stop him. As Naruto and Ed return, they went towards the house as the girls were happy to see that he was fine, but they knew that he was not dead. As they informed Mao what happened, as Naruto did not know who this was that took away Gato, as for Haku, she had survived. As Naruto had struck a massive dome of iron around her to protect her, she was still surprised that he would go out of his way to risk protecting her, even though Zabuza was now dead. They were going to take her back to Kanoha. As Tezuna was rather pissed off his bridge, but he worked so hard and was now gone. So Naruto created a new bridge for him, shocking the man, as the bridge that Naruto created was beyond sustainable and a lot better than the one that he first had. When they got back to Kanoha, Naruto made his promise a reality as he rides Sasuke up. Sasuke was taking their trial as he did not believe they would do anything against him because, after all, he was a Uchiha. He was the last one within Kanoha. But his arrogance pissed Danzo off of all people. As Danzo wanted to use him not to make him feel like he was above him. As he went on on and on again saying that they couldn't do him anything because he was the last Uchiha. So with that they took away his rights as a shinobi and placed him under house arrest with his eyes sealed away. As Naruto was in charge of making said seals, Sasuke was fuming and cursing up a storm. But there was absolutely nothing that he can do about it as he was taken away unconscious. Kakashi was pissed off about that and Naruto really went through with his threat. 
and he was going to let it go that easily. Some time passed as Naruto woke up, as both Hana and Uncle were on either side, as Haku was lying on his chest. As she was a part of the team now, but she was still afraid, as she didn't talk to them much, thinking that he would just send her back and she would be by herself, but he told her he would not, or he would not force her into anything, as she asked him about his arms. The two girls outside decided to stay out there while the both of them talked. As Haku was a really good person and not to mention, she had medical ninjutsu knowledge, something that would be fitting for their team. After all, Team Alchemy didn't really have any good medics on standby. So yeah guys, was basically that's what left off. You guys can switch across the playcheck of yourself. Remember to stay in tune for the rest of what is coming away. Over and making 3 and over and making 2. And yes, remember if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice, Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the Game Making family. And thank you for all of your help and your support. And without further ado, what do you say we get straight into this new episode? Let's begin, guys. We begin this new episode at the Hokage's office. As the group was waiting for one Jonin, Harrison was angry as he looked towards one of his Jonins. Get Kakashi here now and tell him if he's not in my office within five minutes. I will confiscate every single last one of his books and he will be banned from buying a single other as a Chonin made his way. So what do you think will happen to Hatake's team said Naruto? Well now that Uchi is under house arrest, Sai has returned back to Root uncle said keeping her voice low. That leave Haruno, Hana said, she's gonna have to wait until next spring for another team to pass the academy. Hatake needs to up her training. I saw her sitting and sulking across from Uchiha's house, said uncle. Haku was quiet, she was dressed in her ninja gear, minus the mask as it was in a pouch on the side of her waist. As she had the Kiri headband removed and now she had the leaf headband. As her dark eyes took in the Jonin, Naruto she said, why are we here? All Jonins are here because this year Chunin exams is taking place within Kanoha. Naruto said softly to her, aware. That the Hokage want to be the one to announce it. I am the Hokage's hand. Hannah, uncle, and you, your Jonies. I I am, she said. And she was surprised. Oh yeah. You surprised, said Naruto with a grin. Well, you were unconscious last night. When the old man asked me what rank you asked. And as a member of my team, you only answered to me. And the old man said Naruto. Which rocks, uncle said that grin. As Kekashi arrived, as Haku glanced towards him. She didn't like him one bit. As some of you know, this year's student exam will be held here, within Kanoha. It's already the time of the year, one of the Jonin said. And when will it be? asked Asuma. In seven days, Herzen said. I want to know which Jonin teams will be taking it. Many of the gather Jonin declined. Until guys step forward, I might guy nominate my team. Neji Hayuga, Tenten, and Rock Lee. They will show all their flames of youth and a thank you guy, said Herzen cutting him off before he could get into a long rant about youth. Asuma stepped forward, I nominate team 10 that is composed of Shikamaru Nara, Ina Yamanaka and Choji Akimichi for June exams. Kurna stepped forward, she made it, said uncle. As Naruto nodded as he was happy for uncle's friend, I Kurna UI nominate. My genuine team comprised of Kiba Inuzaka. Shinoa Berami and Hinata Hayuga for the Chunin exams. A cough draw their attention. As everyone looked towards the person that coughed, it was Kakashi. I would like to nominate my team as well. Of Sasuke Uchiha, Sakura Haruno and Sai for this. Kakashi, your team was disbanded. You only have Sakura Haruno as a student at this moment. Sir, is it wise to allow a valuable student like Sasuke to? But he was cut off. Sasuke Uchi is under house arrest Kakashi, you know this. He was stripped of his ninja status and his chakra was sealed away. I think it was a mistake too. Give it a rest Hatake, said Naruto. Your prized student got spanked for what he did. If you were any kind of teacher you'd be helping your last student who is sulking outside the Uchiha's place and hasn't even trained at all. Kakashi gave Naruto a look. You proud of yourself, he said. Of course, said Naruto. You're a failure as a teacher, Hatake. You're a student at SAC, fellow ninjas, and you pass it off with lame ass excuses. Kakashi clenched his fists. If you weren't 
but he was cut off. Tell you what, Atake, said Naruto. This was a long time coming. If you want a piece of me, fine. We'll have a match. And the Hokage will be the judge. When? Said Kirashi. The day before tuning exams. That can give you time to prepare. Fine, said Kakashi. Stipulations, he asks. Your choice. To the death, Kakashi said. The Jonin start to mutter as Naruto spoke without hesitation. As you wish. Stakes, Kakashi asks. Name what you want. You seem to be working up towards something, said Naruto. If I win, Sasuke is freed from house arrest and returned back to being a shinobi of Kanoha. Naruto looked towards Hokage. I will allow it, the Hokage said. All right, see you in seven days. What do you want if you win? Kakashi asked as he saw Naruto turn to leave. I have all that I want, but I will be satisfied by beating you, the Sharingan. We'll be gone from Kanoha. As Naruto and his team left, the Jonins were in shock that Kakashi would propose death. Here's in size, he knew that this was a long time coming. This was going to be ugly. Time skip. Seven days pass as Harrison tried to talk both men out of it knowing that if they did not fight now, they would fight at another time without his supervision and one of them or both might end up dead or it might get worse if they did not sort out this issue. It could be problematic out in the field. So he tried to get them to stand down but neither of them wanted to stand down unless the other did first. As Harrison was in the office with Naruto, what if I order you not to, he said. Please don't, said Naruto. Hatake is pushing this because he believes that your former team and Donzo will back him. He's one of our best Tony, Naruto. He is, but lately, his head is up his ass. I asked him what he wanted and he was the one that set the terms. As Harrison sighed, when morning came, several Jonins were already there. Still in complete disbelief that they would go this far, several members of the council was there. Civilian side, they're hoping Hatake wins and free Uchiha, said Uncle. Is it possible? Asked Haku. Or Ninja Haku-chan, said Naruto. Anything is possible. As Kakashi was over with the council members, as they were speaking to another, Jonin, Chunins, and even a few Jennings arrive on the sidelines. Here's in step from the tower. It's time, he said. You both signed the waiver forms. You both agreed to the stipulations. Both men nodded without hesitation. Very well then. Everyone else, get off the field. This match is to the death. May Kami have mercy on your souls. As both men stood in the arena. You wanted this, said Naruto. Guess you're not afraid to die. As Kekashi said nothing as he moved. As Naruto tilted his head to kick, passed in his face. Naruto lashed out with his ultimate hand as it connected in the man's chest and launched him backwards. Come on Kakashi, said Naruto as he started to walk. You're a Jonin. Hell, you're a former Anvil captain. Are you telling me that one hit is all that you can take? Kakashi got up with a growl. As he attacked once again, they exchanged blows before they jumped back. Naruto wiped his lip where a blow grazed him. No, that's more like it, he said. You won't be so cocky when I kill you and free my student, said Kakashi. And what of your other students, said Naruto. You don't need to know about that, after all. A dead man don't have opinion. Kakashi went through hand sign, as Naruto saw the hand signs, as he already knew what was coming. His body started to disappear, as he was using Genjutsu, only for a thunderous fist to crash into his face, launching him backwards as he skid on the ground. He looked up with a glare. That's not gonna work, said Naruto. As Naruto started to go through hand signs, as he used both hands for different seals, Naruto waved his hand as a massive gust picked Kakashi up. He was viciously bombarded in mid-air as he winced in pain as he felt the slicing blade slice into his flesh. Before he fell and crashed, he cursed as he raised his headband, showing off his famous Sharingan. But the thing was Naruto went through different hand signs at the same time with both hands. Kakashi's eyes went wide as the place lit up in a flare, so bright he had to cover his eyes. He felt a foot connected in his chest, launching him backwards as he spat up blood under his mask. Naruto glanced towards Hokage. He then turned his head back towards him. Submit Kakashi, 
and I won't kill you. Never, said Kakash as he got to his feet. More blood that stained his mask came from his mouth. You're blind in a sharing gun eye until you see a healer. Give up now, said Naruto. I will never give up. To you, demon, said Kakashi. Several people that knew Naruto knew that things just got a lot worse for Kakashi. As Naruto's face went emotionless. As you wish, he said. Never is a long time. I'm going to give you your wish. As he slammed his hands together before slamming them on the ground. Alchemic red energy lashed out from the arc and strike into Kakashi. Kakashi tried to move but his body started stiffening his joints, started to freeze up. His eyes widened as he could not move. From the feet up he was transforming into a living iron statue. His hand reaching out the other one, clutched to his chest. Hope you enjoy eternity Kakashi. It took Hiroshin a few minutes to get over what just happened. Until he announced Naruto the winner. The council was in shock, their plans in ruins. As Harrison shook his head as he looked towards the statue of Kakashi, if only he had submitted. But now, as he shook his head once more, time skipped the apartment. He was like pow, and Kakashi was in mid ear, it was awesome. You should have been there, Uncle said. Had cling at duty. The dogs need to get their shots, Hannah said. As the four of them were sitting on the couch, Naruto can use the three styles to humiliate the silver hair man, Uncle said. He turned him into a statue, Uncle said. I wonder what the old man is gonna do with him. As Naruto was half sleeping, half listening, don't know, don't care. I don't want to think about him anymore anyway. But think about it, he can be like a centerpiece in the fountain with flowers all around. Or maybe we could have him in the training room for target practice. I left him to the old man, said Naruto. Oh yeah, the old man is having us work the exam. What do you mean work, uncle said. As Naruto smiled and told her, no, 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 she said, hell no. Haku looked uncertain. When you say us, you mean all four of us, said Naruto. No, uncle said, I want nothing to do with the little shits. Uncle, the Hokage gave us an order, said Naruto. Then write me up for insubordination. I'll spend 60 days in a cell, she said. Please, anything but this, she begged. Anything, said Naruto. As Hannah laughed, as Naruto told her the other option, as Uncle yelled in frustration. Time skip, Inuzaka compound. Where are they? asked Tsume. As Hannah sighed, Haku needs some things, so Naruto took her to get them. Uncle, went to get some dongo. What's wrong? You weren't having trouble now, are you? said Tsume. No. No trouble in our pack, Hannah said, as she figured that that was the best way to describe them. Naruto told us our job during the upcoming June exams, and Uncle is having a fit. As Tasumi sighed, when will you three grow up and give me some pups to spoil, she asked. Hannah blushed, working it, mother, she said. We added Hawk when she's getting used to it. Yes, your new girlfriend. How many more women are you going to allow near to your alpha? None, but there was something about Haku. And Naruto really liked her the moment he met her. Her life was similar to his growing up. Hmm. So I get to meet your third mate. Mom, ease off. Haku is still kind of skittish. Just give her time to get used to us before. You begin to go all kind of crazy. Very well, said Tasumi. But I expect grandchildren very soon. Coming. The way your brother acts. It doesn't seem like you will find a mate. Hmm. Hannah laugh. Well. He is sweet and a high girl, isn't he? As Tesumi smiled at that, as Hannah knew that her little brother was gonna get the third degree soon. Meanwhile, as the blonde was carrying some bags, thank you for doing this, Nurtagan. I really needed some more clothes than the two set I had. I cannot keep using uncles and Hannah's. No problem, Haku Chan said Naruto. As for sharing, I don't think that they mind. Anything else he asks? No, she said. All right. Let's pick up Uncle Chen. We're due at the Inazakas for dinner, he said. The same woman that kept on sleeping with you. Several times Haku asked. As that caught Naruto off guard as he slammed right into a pole. Time skip. Dinner with the Inazakas went off without a hitch. As Tesume thought that Haku was just the sweetest thing ever. As Naruto took the teeth and then put up with her after all. She didn't bat her eye with him sleeping with two other women and her daughter. Uncle was still upset about working the exam. 
and she didn't have a pleasant time with the other Jennings, especially Sasuke and his group. I just don't see why the old man wants us to work it. Look at it this way, Uncle Chan said Naruto. We get to actually hunt down Jennings and remove them from the exam. This is better than letting them wipe out one another in the forest by themselves. Tasumi snorted. Only you and Uncle think of that place as a playground. Everyone else has a healthy respect of danger for that place. We respect the dangers, but we like the place. It gave off the perfect example of equivalent exchange, said Naruto. The little shits aren't ready, Uncle said. I can't believe they were anchored so underprepared. Well, Team 7 isn't around anymore, Anna said. As she looked towards Naruto, what will happen now that the girl no longer has Kakashi and Uchi is a permanent sulker in his home? She was picked up by Anvu that was on patrol. She was camping out in front of the Uchiha residence the entire week. She will be undergoing mental evaluation and rehabilitation before going back to the academy. Back to the exam, said Tatsumi. What do you mean you're going to hunt down the Jennings? Naruto smiled at that. The teams that survived the first part that Ibiki will be administrating will be put in the forest and each team will have a stroll that they will have to protect. Not only from other Jennings but from the other examiner proctors as well. And the fun thing is they need two scrolls to enter a tower. One heaven, one earth. If they beat us, they get the scroll that you're missing. Otherwise, they hunt the other teams. As Hannah smirk, Kiba is going to be in the exams. As Uncle got a gleam in her eye. So, I get to torture the little shit, she said. As Tatsumi sigh, I love my son, Uncle. I would prefer that you return in a relatively good condition. No fear, she said, pouting. Haku looked nervous. We really can attack Jenny, she asked. Oh, nothing lethal, said Naruto, or nothing higher than a C rank. The old man doesn't want us to be unfair and all that. Your abilities do not have ranks, Uncle said. I've been mean to ask you, Naruto, said Tatsume. Hataki, is he alive in his statue? Kind of, said Naruto. It would take a master alchemist to reverse the effects. Since I'm the only alchemist around, that's not gonna happen. He's basically in a form of stasis. If I reverse it to him, no time would pass, but his body would be in excruciated pain because it was forcefully shut down and the muscles were locked. You know, remind me, if you ever get pissed at me, allow me to fall in the kunai, said Tatsumi. Nah, I love you too much, said Naruto. I'll just hand you over to your daughter. Tatsumi glanced towards Hannah. I thought you loved me, she said. Meanwhile, in an abandoned building, it is confirmed Hatsuki is dead. The Kyubi child turned him into a statue. And what of the Uchiha? Under house arrest with some. Security seals, my lord. Laughter could be heard. We'll leave him there for now. Make sure our people don't keep a low profile. Any slip ups, and I will personally end them. As you command, my lord. Where will you be? Around. I'm ashamed to say the lab I found in my youth has been removed. I had hoped to recover several texts that explain things more about alchemy. My experiments are not turned out as planned. Master, what if we capture the Kyubi container? Reports say that he has a power unlike any other. No. Keep low, but do not approach. Study him and do not feel me. I won't, Lord Orochimaru. Go. We can't meet again until the second exam. As the first figure quickly vanished away, Orochimaru stepped from the shadows. Locking the Uchiha away will not protect him. It just makes it an easier target for me, he said, as he chuckled and vanished into the darkness. Time skip. At the end of the first exam, there was 20, 8 teams left. Uncle had been sent under protest to lead, the Jennings team still training on 44. Knowing it was the force of death, the Jennings were trailing behind her at a distance. Heim, what did you do to them, said Naruto. Behind him, Haku and Hannah were in the scream off area with the scrolls. The Heimer triplets are on the table. Nothing. Can you believe that Ibiki let 84 of the little shits pass? As Nurt look and sigh. It seems like he's getting soft. I know, that's exactly what I said. As she glanced over her shoulder. I would say though the Kanoha Jenny surprised me. I thought they would be the first out. Nurt a smirk. It seems they got guts. As the Jenny's former crowd. Showtime said Nurto. As Ed was turning on his shoulder. All right, listen up, said Naruto. Hey, you're our age, one of the Jennings said. And your point is, said Naruto. He continued on. 
My name is Naruto Uzumaki Elric. I am Kanoha Full Metal Fox Alchemist. As of this moment, know this, your souls belong to Kami but your asses are mine. As Naruto released a wave of clearing taint, many of them start to sweat and step back. Behind these walls is the most dangerous training ground within Kanoha. It is known as the Forest of Death. To Uncle Haim and I, this is our playground. Right now my brother is past not release forms. It needs your signature so that Kanoha is not held responsible. In case you're injured or you die. The Jennings look towards a tall suit of armor with glowing red eyes. You mean we can kill? One of them said eagerly. Yes, yeah, said Naruto. And that gives us the right to kill you. Wait, what? When you bring up your release forms, you'll be given a scroll, said Naruto. As Uncle held up the Earth Scroll and the Heaven Scroll. You will receive one of these for the next five days you have to receive the other. You have five days. After getting both scrolls you have to make your way towards the tower in the center of the forest. As Nurta eyes rested on the grass ninja, the one with the bamboo hat had way too much chakra for normal Jenny. He made a no teapot on her. During the next five days, it's a free for all survival test. You will need to outwit other teams as well as avoid the Chunin and Jonins in the forest, as well as the natural ecosystem in the forest, giant bugs, tigers, wildlife, and what not. Why do we have to face high rank ninja Skiba Axe? Because in life you never know what obstacles you'll be faced with. As he did not tell them that they gathered, Proctors could not use anything higher than C rank. His eyes spotted red hair as Nurta smiled, seeing Gar and his sister, as he noticed Gar holding on to the teddy bear. As he noticed Gar's older brother was there as well, but he was still standing several paces away. I'll talk with him later, said Naruto. Sen, send a couple of teams, Uncle said. I see Gar is here, said Naruto. You're not going to play favorites, are you? As Naruto sent her a look, didn't think so. So can we go after Kiba first, she asked. As Naruto laughed a bit, not a normal laugh scaring a few of the Jennings. Naruto can stop scaring them. We'll get to hunt them soon enough, said Hannah. Said they get a 20 minute head start, said Hannah, as she saw Team 8 approaching. Well, we got to give them some chance, Haim. Bring it on, said Kiba as he took the stroll. Afterwards, the sand team approached. Bastard, said Chikaku as he tried to get free to attack Naruto. As Gara ignored him, as he's been cursing a lot lately. Hey Gara, hope you and your teammates do well. Regardless, we'll talk later. I would like that, was a monkey. Gara, you're my friend. Call me Naruto. As Gara nodded, Naruto can see the voice. As Temari approached, What is this I hear that you already have three women, she said. As Naruto looked towards Hannah and Uncle, Well, um, good luck in the exam, he said. As he decided to avoid the question and the consequences. How about if I win? I get a date. Before Naruto could say anything, she leaned forward and gave him a kiss. As the two girls lost their shit, they had to literally fight themselves from attacking her. As Gar stood there, before he looked at Naruto and then back at himself. I'm not going to kiss you, he said, as he walked off. As Naruto did not say anything because the kiss, well, and not to mention the amount of killer intent that was being radiated from the two women behind him. A group from the stone felt the killer intent as they decided to quit right there and then. That was just too much. Time skip 27 teams rush inside the forest. I can't believe the Hidden Stone team gave up before they ever got a scroll, said Uncle. That's because of you guys, said Naruto. As Uncle shrugged, so we have 15 minutes before we can enter, Uncle said. As she pulled out her hunter in mass, the Uzumaki spiral mark was on it instead of the hunter in symbol. Technically yes, but we can delay some, said Naruto. I've got Anvus checking the perimeters. Then we'll let the Chonin squads with Chonin captains enter first, and then we'll go in, said Naruto. As he swiped one of Uncle Dango's sticks, ignoring her growl. I've never heard of a tune exam like this, Uncle said. Well, originally, it was just gonna be the team entering the forest and attacking one another for the scrolls. Yeah, but Nurtakan thought it was boring, so he altered. The second round, said Hannah. No, remember, guys, we can't kill, said Naruto. So, everyone got their food for several days. Yes, Dad, Uncle said in a mocking tone. An envoy landed, sir. We have a problem, he said. Time skip. Gross. 
What team is this? said Naruto as he looked at the remains. Ebisu, who was holding a clipboard, checked it over. The team is from Kuza, the grass team. As Naruto closed his eyes, this didn't happen recently. I know who did this, Uncle said. As Naruto glanced towards her, there's only one person I know of who is sick enough to strip the flesh from faces like this. He wears them as disguises and trophies. As Naruto turned towards Ebisu, get all the Anvus, Jonis, and Chonin squads that are taking part in this exam. It looks like our purpose have just been altered. Uncle was about to leap through the open gate, but Naruto grabbed her. Not alone, he said. We do this by the numbers and in teams. We can't wait, she said. We can. He turned towards Hannah who nodded. I'll get mom and the tracking team. Uncle looked pissed as she could not move because Naruto held on to her rather tightly. Who did this? Haku asked. Extra missing named Urchimar of the Sanin, said Naruto. Former. Ninja of Kanoha. As the teams arrived, Naruto turned towards Uncle. I'm letting you go and you will wait, or I will transfigure your jacket into cement. Fine, she said. She crossed her arms. As Naruto turned towards the gathered ninja. Alright, listen up, he said. We have a hostile mute ninja inside the training ground. Identity is speculated to be that of Urchimar who is posing as a ninja of the grass. Each team will have an Inuzaka Chaka with them. We shall be looking for him to keep him with Jennings because they seem to be his goal for this exam. And I hate to speculate for what reason. I want teams moving inwards. Check everything, rabbit holes, tiger dings, every single part of the forest. He's been in there for 20 minutes already. I want him found. If you find him, send up a flare. Fight to delay. He's a son and he should not be taken lightly. Spread out amongst the gates and get on going. Frequency 7 on the comm links, he said. As all of them switch to said frequency. Don't be heroes, be smart. If you come across any of the Jennings, send them to the tower the exam has been compromised, said Naruto. As they quickly made their way, Ebisu informed the Hokage of what is taking place here and tell him what frequency we will be on. Also, make sure you have someone keeping an eye on the grass, the sound, and any other foreign team, said Naruto. Ebisu nodded and moved off. Now let's move, said Naruto. As him and the others flashed into the forest. As the Heimer Triptus got the scent from the corpses, as they used it to trap them down. Time skip. Uruchimaru is here, said Hirzen, as Ebisu nodded. This is not good. I will order a watch on the Uchiha. Despite the seals, this is not good. I don't want him getting anywhere near him. What about the exam? The doctor asked. We need to wait and see. Naruto's got teams looking over Jenny. Hopefully, they can get rid of Uruchimaru. Naruto's ordered the teams to move towards the towers, regardless of the scrolls. Hiruzen nodded. I'll get the hospital ready, Hibachi said, already preparing for the worst. I'm heading towards the tower, Hiruzen said. Meanwhile, force of death. Hold, said Anna. Down there. They left from branch to branch, reaching the forest floor, as they found the remains of one of the Anbu squads. Shit. Sonova, said Naruto, as he tapped the comm link. This is Fox to all search teams. Alternate frequency now. We've been compromised. Their masks and armor and their headset was also stripped away from them. So Urchimar must be listening in. Have any clue who they are? Probably one of the newer teams, Hannah said. None that I recognize, Uncle said. Whatever he's after, he need a uniform, said Naruto. As Hannah ID the tags, Hawk, Owl, and Pigeon. What happened to the Inuzaka that was with them? That is what I want to know, said Naruto. One of the triplets for an ascent as he started to bark. This way. We'll get you, you bastard. Uncle hissed herself. As Naruto radioed in for a team to collect the bodies before he followed after. The trail ended 15 minutes later. The corpse of the Inuzaka and the dog were nailed to the tree trunk. That bastard, Anna said. Recognize one of her cousins. We have to keep on moving, said Naruto. There is nothing that we can do for the dead right now. The retrieval squad will come for them. I promise. We'll get him, said Naruto. As Hannah nodded, as the Heimer triplets sniffed the bodies and took off. As Naruto was now officially pissed off. As he was going to find him, and he won't be leaving his place alive. Meanwhile, Uruchimaru was having a decent day. He had wiped out the Anvu squad, and he passed the gear on to Kabuto to later on do his job of removing Sasuke from lockdown. This is going to be fun. He thought of all the young Jennings he could steal away from Kanuka Ice. 
He had a moment of concern when he saw his younger apprentice as one of the proctors but she did not even know that it was him and he studied the boy that was with her. While 16 going on to 17, he was one of the highest ranked ninjas under the Hokage. Getting his file was impossible his spy almost got caught getting it. While he didn't know much perhaps, he could take him as his new body. He heard more dogs coming. <laughs> it seems they entered the kennel. Time to do some more elimination. Meanwhile, he's leaving an open trail, said Naruto. I noticed that. It's not a good thing, said Ed. It's like he wants to be found. Hannah, hold up, said Naruto. As she reigned in the trail. What's wrong? He's getting away. This trail, said Naruto. What about it? It's too obvious, Haku said. He's leaving a trail that even the Uchiha can follow, said Naruto. As Hannah realized he was right. What do we do? We can't let him get away. Dismiss the dog, said Naruto. We'll go higher, if it's over tomorrow. The old man has told me a lot about him over the years. We need to come at him as a team. He's too damn good to take alone. Even for you, Uncle Axe. Without my alchemy, yes, said Naruto. Ed snapped his gaze forward. It's weak, a bastardized version. But that is definitely alchemic, he said, as he saw the glow ahead. What? said Hannah and Uncle. How can he use alchemy? Ed and Naruto share a look. We'll go first, he said. Follow from higher up. As Naruto summoned several Steel Golem and Alphon, he transformed them to look like them and the dogs. Let's go, said Naruto as he moved ahead. Meanwhile, Urchmar used a circle power trap. He smirked as it was ready. Shame I couldn't learn more, but I was interrupted. But he took a lot out of him to use a small form of transfiguration. He mostly used it when creating his experiments, but this was too much fun in Kanoha. Perhaps when I destroy Kanoha, I can tear it apart and find out what happened to that old library. As he heard the dogs closing in, he knew he had to get rid of them first. They were rather persistent. The moment the three dogs crossed in the clearing, he activated the trap. Wood spikes ripped into the dog from below. As Urchimar laughed aloud, he smirked seeing his former apprentice and the young man that had the title of the Hokage's hand. He laughed some more. Four more little leaf ninjas. This really is a good day. He then launched out a wing jutsu to scatter them. But he was surprised when they did not move. What surprised him even more was when the nin dogs ripped their bodies off the spike and rushed towards him. How? Their wounds. They're not even bleeding, he said. The first dog reached him as he ducked under the path, slipping away. As the second dog came as he slammed his heel into it, only for him to feel pain. It felt like he was made out of steel. The third dog bit into his cloak and spun him around. He struck his palm into the dog to release him, but it felt like he hit steel. Jumping away, he got to a higher branch. Ah, Naruto, we finally meet. I'm sorry I missed you in the rice. I bet you are, said Naruto. We can end this now in case I render now. Oh, I don't think so. As he avoided more of the dogs. As he arrived in front of the Inuzaka girl, say night night, he said as he stabbed a kunai right into her chest. The kunai shattered of one impact. She slammed her fist into his face and broke into a hard trunk. What? He said looking up as Naruto landed on a higher branch. Ah, poor little son you can't beat a Jonin, said Naruto. As he went through fake hand signs, before he touched a tree with his hand, Orochimaru saw the red light and leaped away. As a tree trunk ripped him out and tried to eat him, his path led him to Uncle as she connected at spinning back into his chest. Orochimaru was replaced by a log as he reappeared behind his former apprentice and former seal to activate her curse mark. He was shocked when nothing happened as her fist connected to his cheek, snapping his jaw as he was launched. He picked himself up as he brought his hand up. Release, he said. As he released a wave of chakra disrupting the illusion. As their transformation drop revealed in a suit of armor. What is this he said. As he snapped his jaw back in place. And spat some blood. How do you think I got the name full metal said Naruto. As he went through fake hand signs once again before he clapped his hand together. And slammed him on the ground. Tentacle of alchemic energy spread around. Uruchimar saw a long tube. Boom! As Naruto fired the cannon. Screw this, Uncle said from above as she heard the explosion. I'm not letting him get away just because 
Naruto wants to keep her safe as she jump ahead. Damn right, Anna said. As she summon her dogs, Haku will slip into an ice mirror. Don't worry, Naruto can, she said. We're coming. Meanwhile, tell me, where did you get this power? Urchimaru growled out. It's mine by right, not stolen, said Naruto. As Ed remained quiet and out of sight, as Alphon would not talk either. Urchimaru went through hand signs he summoned a mud tsunami. As I leaped away, as the other armors were slammed into the trees, the mud coming up high up to their necks. Not bad, said Naruto as he created 10 clones. They rushed towards the snake sawning in pure taijutsu. As Naruto dismissed the armors, he turned towards Al in a low voice he spoke. You okay? I'm fine, brother, Al said. An ice mirror opened up above Urshimaru. His senses kicked in as he grabbed one of the clones and threw it up. Her needle struck the clones as it poof. Another one appeared as she slipped into it vanishing once again. Orochimaru jumped as three dogs, real one, tried to bite into his flesh. Hidden shadow sneak attack, he heard. He was pinned and slammed into a tree trunk, several feet off the ground. Uncle Orochimaru gasped. Time to die, you bastard! There are too many of them, and I don't feel my mark and uncle. What has happened? It seems my spy has barely scratched the surface. He laughed. Surprised to see you here, he said. As was I. But no, you're dead, she said. Don't you wonder why I'm here, he said, as he slowly went through one-handed seals. No, she said, as Naruto spoke up the Jennings, are being cleared out of the forest as we speak. The Hokage is aware of you being here. The exam is being postponed until you're dead, or until what you're here for is safe. As Urchimar wondered how they discovered him, as if reading his mind, Naruto spoke up. You left the bodies of the grass nin, not too well hidden. I had envoys all over the place. As the snake started crushing even more into the tree, as Urchimaru chuckled a bit. As her hands started to go through hand signs, you're gonna use a suicide technique, he said. Uncle Naruto called. I have to make sure. He can't be allowed to escape, she said. Her eyes conflicted what she wanted to do. As Urchimaru smirked, a shame. It won't work. A massive gust of ear blasts the ground. Blowing her back, allowing the bindings to slip a bit, as he slipped out of it, transforming his lower half into a snake, as he slit her in the forest. Uncle screamed out in frustration. Find him, said Naruto as the hammer triplets leaped off. As Naruto should have encased him, like how he did to Hatake, but he wanted Uncle to kill him for what he did. Time skip. As Naruto paced back in front, in front of the Wage, I know, he said. The old man hadn't said a word yet, but Naruto was speaking. I know, he said. We screwed up. We let her emotion got the better of us. And we got too damn cocky, he said. Pacing back in front. Outside, Uncle could be heard swearing as she did destroy the surrounding forest. Hannah and the trio had returned to the Inzaka compound to mourn. The loss of one of their cousins. Naruto. Damn it! I know we messed up, said Naruto. We had that slimy bastard and we let him slip through our fingers. Like we were a bunch of Jennings. As Ed was in Haku's lap as she was stroking his head. I swear I'll get him, he won't escape. I just need Naruto hears and said. As Naruto turned towards the man, I am not upset at you, Urchimaru slipper, and you can mark it as a lesson for what not to do next time. But we don't know where he is now. The skin that he was wearing was shed a mile away from where we fought and Anvos lost his trail. You took him to task. Something not myself or his former teammates has ever done before. As Uncle Rage was still blazing outside as she decimated a tree. It seems like we'll have enough firewood for the coming winter, Harrison said in a joking manner. Nurka sighed and looked through the window of the tower. What are we gonna do for the exam, he said. It has to be cancelled and the village secure, with that snake on the loose. We need to continue. Nurka spin and looked towards the man. Forgive me for saying this, but have you lost your mind? Aruchimar, your former student is here within Kanoha, and you want us to continue the exam. Exactly. It is the perfect way to trap him. Let his arrogance work against him like how he used yours against you. I know my student. After your encounter, his ego won't let him leave it unsettled. He believed himself to be the best. And he had to run away from you guys. Trust me. He won't go back down. And when the time comes, you can make him a match set like Akashi. I'm sure Uncle will enjoy that. As Nurka glanced through the window, he sighed, but the old man was right. What do we do, he said. 
But guys, be in subs right here. If you want to see any sports and do, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification they posted. Remember, share to all of your friends in social media platform. And also, guys, stay tuned for the brand new episodes coming over Anime King 3. And Anime King 2, yes, that's right. I indeed have three channels, you have not misheard that. Three channels that I post what if on every single day, yes. It sounds crazy, but yes, guys, every single day, every single day for you guys to enjoy. So why don't you just go ahead and click that red subscribe button? I would really, really appreciate it, guys. And join the Anime King family, and thank you for all of your help and your support. I would appreciate it very much, guys. Links will be down in the description, so you have nothing to worry about. And yeah, without further ado, I'm out for now. See you guys very, very soon. Peace out.